Hey, Washington football fans. Did we just get Anthony Barr in the seventh round? Like, seriously. I knew we were drafting good, but damn. Now, I know we didn't actually get Anthony Barr, but Shaka Tony, wow. I think this man has all the skills to be an off-ball linebacker. I think this guy is going to transition from being an edge rusher, because he's, he's way too undersized for that, but he is the perfect size to play linebacker. Much like Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr in college, he was listed as a linebacker, but he was a strict edge rusher, pretty much. So when he got to the NFL, he became an off-ball linebacker, and with his agility, his speed, his instincts, he became a really good coverage linebacker. Now, Shaka Tony is 6'3", 242 pounds. He's got 33-inch arms, 9.5-inch hands, he ran a 4-5-3-40, which is really good, especially at that size. At, at a 240-pound linebacker, 6'3", that's pretty good. It's not freakish like Jamin Davis, but it's pretty good. His, his 10-yard split was 1-5-8. He had a 39-inch vert, a 10-8 broad, 4-2-9 shuttle, Flat seven seconds on the three cone. He had 24 bench reps. When you put that all together as a defensive end, he was a 9-4-7 RAS score. Now that is cooking. That's smoking right there. This guy, that's a high grade. Now, the problem is that takes all of his athleticism in. It doesn't really affect how he plays the position. He's a little undersized to play the position. He's not going to consistently beat NFL blockers. He's not going to do that consistently. But if you just change his position in the relative athletic score to linebacker, an already great score is kicked way up to 9.92. That's around... Brian Erlacher levels. That's higher than Micah Parsons. That is an amazing relative athletic score for a linebacker. Just some of his stats in his position. He had 111 tackles. He had 28 and a half tackles for loss. He had 20 sacks, four pass defenses, four forced fumbles. I mean... He had great production as an edge rusher, but that's not what he's going to do at the next level, I don't think. Now, at the Senior Bowl, and I'm sure this is where Ron got keen on him, because you know he loves the Senior Bowl, guys. At the Senior Bowl, they actually had him play a lot of coverage. They worked him out in coverage. He looked good in coverage. He has... A quick first step. He's got great short area of quickness, but overall he can get to a gallop and he can move good too. He's got really quick change of directions. He's got fluid lateral movement. He's got a low center of gravity. He's got solid bend, the things that help with edge rushing. But he's got all that speed to be a good linebacker in space. He looked really good in coverage at the Senior Bowl. He's an explosive athlete. And he has to actively try to maintain the weight to be effective at defensive end. And otherwise, naturally, this is like a six foot three, 230 pound guy. And you got to think if he gets down to his natural weight and he cuts up, gets in a little more shape, he might shave some time off that. We might be looking at another, you know, four, four, six foot three linebacker on the team. Like, there's some scary, scary possibilities with this guy. And like I was saying, I think Ron saw this guy at the Senior Bowl, saw all of his versatility, saw the fact that he could play coverage well, saw the athleticism 
and the old wheel started turning there. This might have been his, his, it was going to be one of our two picks before we traded anyway in the seventh if he was there. So Ron saw some extra guys available and wanted those extra picks because he probably already had this pegged. So, like, the ability he has to already win in pass rushing is is pretty good. But if you move him to a linebacker, like a Sam linebacker or a Mike, something where he can blitz, where he's the fifth guy pressuring the quarterback when he's not taking on the main blocker, when he's coming free, he's going to be deadly. He's going to be like Anthony Barr. Like, I really think that that's a perfect comparison. Anthony Barr's a couple inches taller. But otherwise, man, these guys stack up. And if he, if Ron is going to move this guy to linebacker, he has insane potential. And this guy could actually be a better late-round pick than Cameron Curl if it works out. Now... Like just to stack him up, like Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr was six foot four or is six foot four, two hundred and fifty five pounds. He's got thirty three inch arms too. So he's he's an inch taller, inch and a half taller, maybe. He's got smaller hands at nine three nine point three inches. He only runs a four six six forty. To our guys, four, five, three, four, five, three, forty. So he's faster than Anthony Barr already. He, uh, so Anthony Barr only had a 34 inch vert compared to his 39. Anthony Barr only had a 911 broad compared to his 10 8. Anthony Barr had a slightly better three cone at six eight two to his seven. Anthony Barr had a four point one nine shuttle where he had a four two nine, so a tenth of or a hundredth of a second, whatever that is, off. Like uh pretty close there. Anthony Barr had fifteen bench reps. Our guy had 24, I believe. He had 24, 24 bench reps. So he's strong. You know, he's he's strong guy. And if you look at Anthony's relative athletic score, at a linebacker, he's at 8.63. And at a defensive end, he's an 8.87. Now, it's not uncommon for people to do this. Like, Anthony Barr did it coming from college to the NFL. There were some guys coming out that just came out in this draft that did it earlier. They got ahead of it and did it in college. Like, Derek Barnes just switched from linebacker or from defensive end to linebacker this year. He's 6'2", or no, he's only six foot tall, 238. He's got 33-inch arms. He has nine and a seven nine point seven inch hands. He runs a four five eight forty, so a little bit slower. Uh one point seven one point seven on his split, his ten his ten yard split, which is a little slower. His shuttle's a little slower. His vert's two inches shorter. His his uh, broad is considerably shorter at at nine eleven compared to ten eight. So it, it's it's considerably shorter. He's an overall better athlete than Derek Barnes, who was a fourth round draft pick at linebacker. So if he, I think he has all the tools to trans, transform, uh, transition to a linebacker and do better than some of the people that already did it. Like as a as a as a linebacker, Derek Barnes is a a eight point zero 
I don't know, as a defensive end, he's an 8.08 RES score. But just switching position, he became an 8.41. Now there's another guy in this draft, a first rounder, that played defensive end all the way up until he got to college. And that's kind of what he wants to do now. You could tell by the way he played. And that's Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons, all through school, before he got to college, he was a defensive end. He was a pass rusher. He's six foot three, 246 pounds, almost the exact same size as his teammate there. Shaka Tony would be if he changed over to linebacker. Maybe a little bigger. He only has 31 and a half inch arms, so he's got, you know, two inches less on his arms. He's got way bigger hands, though. He's got 11 inch hands. He ran a 4.3640, which that's crazy for a linebacker. But still, Shaka Tony's 4.53 is no slouch. But that that is uh Parsons does have a cra- crazy 40 time there. Parsons ran a 1.59 or not ran it but his 10 yard split is 159 whereas Shaka Tony's is 158 so he actually gets to that 10 quicker. Micah Parsons vert was only 34 inches so shorter so that's a little less explosiveness his broad was two inches shorter which isn't much but still that's less explosiveness he has a 4-4 shuttle to a 4-2-9 so Shaka Tony is except for the the overall speed him being slightly outclassed with the speed and I honestly think if Shaka Tony wasn't putting on the weight to try to, he, he consciously, he wakes up at midnight, he eats a protein shake, he eats so many slices of bread, he does all kinds of stuff to maintain this weight to try to be at this position. I think if he didn't do that, and he just ate normally and practiced football, he would be probably around 240 flat, around 235, something like that, and he would be almost a 4-3-40 guy without packing on that extra weight and carrying it. So I, I really think that if if Ron wants to make this guy a linebacker, he's got more than enough tools, he'll be awesome at the position, and since we, a lot of fans thought, and a lot of a lot of media thought that we needed to address the linebacker more in the draft, and maybe we did. Maybe this was Ron's plan the whole time because I really think it makes sense. It just makes sense. This guy's too small to be an ex- even as fast as he is and as great as his technique is, as great as his bend is. In the NFL, he's not going to be a competitive pass rusher. He could be a situational pass rusher, you know, part-time here or there. Or you could get a lot of value at him, transition him to linebacker, which we got Ron and Jack. If anybody can teach a guy how to play linebacker, and it's not that far outside of his wheelhouse. He was doing it at the senior bowl. It was great. So I think this is a no-brainer, and we would have, like like the video says, uh, Anthony Barr at linebacker with a seventh-round pick. That's wild. We do it big in the late rounds. Washington football team. So, yeah. Um, if you like the video, like the video. I appreciate everybody watching. Um uh, Sorry for clickbaiting you. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how dirty it was down in the in the comments. And I love you guys. Peace.